Hello guys, my name is Dr. Mikhan and uh, today I'm going to explain the name reaction in organic chemistry for term standard. First name reaction is coarse reaction. In coarse reaction, one alkyl halide is reacting with sodium in presence of light to form alkane. So alkanes are three alkyl halides we have alkyl groups to be the one. ลาควาเกนเวลาฮาร์ดีอีเวนท์นั้นเราบอกว่าเกนอีเวนท์นั้นเราคาดว่าอะไรทั้งประเทศไว้อีกอย่างหนึ่งเราบอกว่าเกน
which has iodine as a product. Here, bromine is substituted by iodine, that is, halogen exchange, only exchange of halogen express. Now, this is the fifth type of reaction. The next type of reaction is Schwarz reaction, this is the sixth reaction. Schwarz reaction. Oh, sorry, this is not Schwarz reaction, this is semi reaction. Samuel's reaction. In Samuel's reaction, benzene diazonium salt reacts with cuprous chloride or bromide to form chloro or chromobenzene. Here, uh, benzene diazonium salt, this is our benzene diazonium salt. For example, I take benzene diazonium chloride. This is a benzene diazonium salt. If this is reacted with Q plus chloride or Q plus bromide in presence of HCl, we will get chlorobenzene as the product along with N2 gas. <coughs> this reaction is a type of nucleophilic substitution reaction. In fact, uh, in benzene, nucleophilic substitution reaction is very difficult, but here in the diazonium group, nitrogen atom, which is directly attached to benzene ring, is having a positive charge. So it is a very, very good living group, a very strong electron withdrawing group, and uh, it withdraws Holds out the electrons of benzene ring, so there is deficiency of electrons in the benzene ring. Hence, Cl minus ion, which is a weak nucleophile, can easily attack this carbon atom to displace this nitrogen as the nitrogen gas. This is cellular reaction. And in the seventh type of name reaction is Gatlinian reaction. In Gatterman reaction, we again take benzene diazonium fluoride or bromide and it is reacted with in Gatterman reaction instead of cuprous fluoride we take copper powder in presence of SCL. And uh, we will get as the Chlorobenzene, if we take as we have here, then we get bromobenzene as the product. Here also, nitrogen gas will be evolved. This is Gatterman reaction. These are some reactions in hello again in hello again. One reaction I can add here, which is Fugelianzen synthesis. Williamson synthesis. This can be discussed in a third chapter also, but uh, here it can also be an, uh, a, rea a chemical reaction of alkyl In Williamson synthesis reaction, one alkyl halide, chloroalkyl uh, chloro or bromoalkyl can be taken, is reacted with sodium alkoxide. R dash, you can take this alkyl group as same or different from this alkyl group. R O N A. Then oxygen will carry a negative charge, sodium will carry a positive charge. An alkyl chloride, when reacted with sodium alkoxide, we will get this part will act as a nucleophile. This will attack this carbon atom in which the halogen group is attached, and we will get R O R S along with an SCL as the byproduct, which is not important. Now, this compound formed here is ether. For example, for example, if we take 
chloroethane and it is reacted with sodium methoxide. This methoxide group acts as nucleophile to attack this carbon atom to displace this chlorine. So we will get Methoxic 10 is the product of methoxy 10. This is the this part. Instead of chlorine, we will have methoxy group, which will be as to 10. So this will be named as methoxy ethane. Is the product along with an acid. Next name reaction is Dow's process. This is a um, phenol part of alcohol, phenols, and the uh, chapter. Uh, this is the ninth reaction. The Dow's process. Chlorobenzene reacts with sodium hydroxide. In normal condition, chlorobenzene does not react with sodium hydroxide, but at higher temperature, 623 Kelvin and uh, 200 to 318 pressure, and in the presence of an acid catalyst, chlorobenzene reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce phenol as the Product along with an acid. Now, this phenol, this process is called Dow's process. This is a nucleophilic substitution reaction, which is again very difficult in chlorobenzene because this benzene has excess of electron, so the nucleophile OH minus ion will not uh, easily attack this carbon atom. But at very high uh, temperature and very high pressure, and in presence of a catalyst, this reacts with. Na holds to form phenol. This is Dow's process. Now, the next reaction is Riemann-Riemann reaction. In a Riemann-Riemann reaction, E dot I is H, Anana Hana, Ivano Kandaradi, Trick dot, Maya Dari, Dota Namu, Namu this OH group is an activating ortho group and usually para isomer is the main major product but in case of reverse reaction in which in which Phenol reacts with chloroform and the sodium hydroxide again followed by acid hydrolysis we will have this CHO group which is an aldehyde group attached to the ortho position of OH group Usually, this OH, as I have already mentioned, OH is an activating ortho and para directing group, and para isomer is the measured product in the Riemann Riemann reaction. However, this ortho isomer is the measured product because uh, there is intramolecular hydrogen bonding between this OH and the CHO group. This compound is called, this is our main uh, principal functional group, so this carbon will be numbered as one. Two, so two hydroxy. This compound is called benzaldehyde. So the name of this product will be two hydroxy benzaldehyde, which is commonly known as salicylaldehyde also. The 
This is the Riemann-Riemann reaction. Similar to the Riemann-Riemann reaction is another reaction which is called Colbert's reaction. Colbert's reaction is part of in this hypothalamus. In this hypothalamus, in a Colbert's reaction, I don't buy. In Colbert's reaction, phenol da. Sinega Riemann Riemann reaction da chloroform ka reaction da kuchh hai. Instead of chloroform, we take carbon dioxide. These two reactions are similar. Phenol reacts with carbon dioxide in presence of sodium hydroxide and followed by acid hydrolysis. We will have COOH group, carboxylic acid group in the ortho position. Again, because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding between this OH and the COOH group, this ortho isomer is the major product here also. This is called this, this, this is called benzoic acid. So in the second position. In the second carbon atom, hydrose is attached. So, therefore, this uh, compound will be known as 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. Commonly, it is called salicylic acid. Thank you, guys. These are some NAM reactions from the first two chapters of organic chemistry please subscribe my channel and press the notification button also so that you get regular videos from my channel